Hey, what is going on guys? And Jolts here, back with another guide. Today's guide is going to be on the new best way to farm loot midgets in Borderlands 2. Yeah, there's an even better, easier, and faster way to do it than Doctor's Orders. Of course, this farm takes place in the new Fight for Sanctuary DLC. To set up this farm, do some of the main story until you complete the mission Winging It. Once you have completed that mission and turned it into Lilith, Moxie will have a new side quest for you. Talk to her and pick up the mission Space Cowboy. She will give you Scooter's Echo, so pick that up and then head over to the Doll Abandoned. Right by the Fast Travel is the first waypoint. Head over to it. Inside the Bandit Camp, you will find a Porta Potty. When you open it up, a Loot Midget will jump out. At this point, kill the Loot Midget and do not, I say again, do not pick up the magazine in the Porta Potty. If you pick up this magazine, the farm is over. You will never see this Loot Midget ever again. If the magazine remains untouched, he will spawn every time. So, with the magazine still there, save quit and then jump back into your game. That's it, you're set up for the farm. All you have to do is turn around from the fast travel, run to the porta potty, and open it again. This farm is so freaking fast, it blows any other loot midget farm in this game out of the water. Again, kill the loot midget, don't touch the magazine, save quit. Rinse and repeat. This farm is insane, like you run for 10 seconds and you have a loot midget. On average with my Salvador, it was about 4 loot midgets every minute. That is so many chances for legendaries and pearls. The cool thing about this farm too is that you don't even have to kill any of the other mobs. If you're quick enough, you can just run to the camp and do the farm and then save quit before anything attacks you. After not even 10 minutes, I managed to get two pearls and a bunch of legendaries. This farm is so overpowered and I do recommend that you guys try it for yourself. You can do this farm almost immediately after jumping into this DLC. That's it for the video, so let me know what you guys got with this farm. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course if you did, please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah, peace out.